It is a place where the Old West meets the New West. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth, and we are counting down our 50 trails in 50 weeks, and I am pleased to be out here with Dana Lindsay from Escalante, or Escalante, never say Escalante, and, I, and our official At Your Leisure tail gunner, uh, Brett Hermanson from Van Gogh's Auto Body. Thanks, guys, for joining me today. Thank you. Yeah. You're not as cute as Rhea, but you know, you're okay. <laughs> we are on a, uh, on a loop that takes you to Call It Top, and it's about a 70 mile loop, and it goes right out of Escalante and comes up here and swings around and goes back. And it is an awesome sight. There are so many things to see out here, like genuine, uh, I mean, this is a, this is a cattle wrangler. Um, line shack and it's been here for years. I, I first crossed this road about 35 years ago and it was here then. So uh, it's it's awesome. You come up here quite a bit, right? I do, yeah. I've, uh, you know, last 10 or 12 years we come up here several times a year. Yeah, you guys are so lucky to live right right in the gateway to so many great opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. You had fun? This is a blast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. Well, Me and June. <laughs> yeah, you and June. <laughs> you don't know what we've uh, been up to today, so let's find out. It's a loop that starts right in Escalante. You come up through the Cedar Wash Road and you hit the Hole in the Rock Road. And uh, the part that we just came through that was the most exciting is we came up left hand Collet and we're up on what is uh, the Collet Top now. There's a lot of different things to see. It's the rock formations, the, you know, different things. It's just, there's so much to see. It's, I'm catching a little bit. I'm gonna have to come back a couple of times to, I'm sure to see it all. And a lot of these trails in Utah, I've been on the Paiute Trail for over 20 years. And every time we go up there, we find a new trail. Just like I'm sure this place is the same thing. Every time you come up, you're gonna find something new. Oh, this is beautiful going up through this canyon. I love this. This, this is the kind of riding I like. This spot is incredible. This is actually one of my favorite spots in the whole world. It has little bits of the Old West in it, and, and uh, if you look real close, you can see uh, traces of uh, the ancient Americans that were here, and yeah, it's an incredible place. I thought I was done. I thought I'd bought it. Okay. <laughs> That side slide was just not quite what I was anticipating. This is great. I love this. This is pretty neat. This ice rink stuff is pretty interesting. When you take the call it top loop, as a day adventure, one thing you're gonna to want to do for sure is give yourself plenty of time to stop, pay attention, and get a map from the, uh, any of the outfitters in town so you can see what's up here because they will mark where some of these things are. You could drive right by this and miss it. It's an Anasazi era uh, granary here and it's, and it's beautiful, it's well intact. And here's the rule, look but don't touch leave it for the next guy. Leave it for your grandkids, for somebody else so that they enjoy it. So just enjoy it by looking at it and knowing that you were there. Well, we'll continue our adventure on the Call It Top Loop, but right now it's time for you to go to this week's Where To. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know, every base camp has a hub of activity, and the Phillips 66 right in the middle of Escalante is the hub of activity. I mean, they've got groceries, they've got goodies, and they've got all the local gossip. 
You can pick any kind of lodging you want here in Escalant or Escalante, depends upon what end of town you're from. And uh, they run from rustic cabins to really nice hotels and lodges and everything in between. There are even a bevy of bed and breakfasts that you can check out. Now, for food, there are about five or six dining opportunities here, and it starts with a really good burger you can get in the season at Nemo's. There's also the Lodge at the far end of town, which is one of the nicer hotels, probably the nicest here, and they've got a restaurant. You should try out the pizzas at the Outfitters, and the pub is a pretty good place as well. There's also a food truck called Georgie's. So for a small town, they've got a little sampling of just all kinds of dining. If you're looking for groceries, you've got two choices in Escalante. Uh, there's one that's a little more trendy and there's one that's pretty old and nostalgic. Any direction you're headed before you leave town, you'll be able to get gas. There's gas at the 66 in center of town. Headed east, there's the Sinclair. Headed west, there's a little hardware store that is a cute place to shop for gifts that also has gas. One of the things you want to do while you're at base camp is get out and walk around Escalante because they've got all kinds of historical houses. It gives you a real connection with the pioneer heritage of the town. You can enjoy the architecture and be respectful that you're in people's neighborhoods. Keep the noise down. And if you want to know what the story is behind the houses, you can stop here at the People's Exchange and pick up a free historical map of town that has all the information that you need about these interesting homes. Of course, while you're exploring your base camp, reserve a little bit of time to come up here to the Hole in the Rock Heritage Center. It's an interpretive museum of sorts that will tell you a little bit about the history of how this area was settled. It'll kind of bring everything into context for you. Well, we're gonna move ahead with our agenda here on At Your Leisure. It's time for our Along the Way. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on the Call It Top Loop. Now, if you want to get to our base camp, Escalante, it's on Highway 12. You can get to it from Panguage, Utah, to the south and e uh, west, and you can get to it, for, to it from Torrey, Utah, from the north and the east. Beautiful drive, and Call It Top Loop takes off a of center street, and it goes to the south. Now, let's take a look and find out what's happening in our Trail of the Week. This week's Trail of the Week is the Hard Scrabble OHV Trails. The Hard Scrabble Trails are located in Washington County next to the town of Enterprise. To get more information on this or any of the trails that have been completed on the Trail 360 project, visit Outsiders.Zone and look for a lot more in the next couple of weeks. Now, let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Rhea and I are teaming up with Casey's Off-Road Recovery, who shows us how to get our toys out of a bind by bringing in some toys of his own. Then, Nick Chase is getting a one-of-a-kind e-bike tour as the folks from Baku take him to experience the wildlife out on Antelope Island. Finally, we are joining the folks from Jorgensen's on their first ride, which is an annual event, but it looks a little different this year. In addition to dirt bikes, the ride now includes side-by-sides. It's a wider variety of trails to allow all kinds of different machines. Now, let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by David L. Peterson. Congratulations, David. It looks like you're the winner of a Clearly Tough windshield for your rig. Clearly Tough offers the strongest windshields on the market. Visit clearlytough.com for more details. And be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Well, that's all the time we have for our show today, uh, which is a good thing because what do you got there? That's a smash sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's not telling us the ingredients. But I do want to thank Daniel Lindsay for coming out with us today. And of course, like I say, our official tail gunner, Brett Hermanson. Did you have fun? Had a blast. Good you, day. Good. Are you going to like tell a lot of people to come down here? Oh, yeah. I think me and my friends, we're going to come down here again. If, okay, so how do you end the statement? If you don't come down to Escalante, you are missing out there you go <laughs> okay good all right i was waiting for crazy or something like that anyway remember there is adventure around every bend you just got to get out there create your own adventure 
at your leisure. What is that sandwich? I've always wanted to say that's got a little bacon on it.